There's the super shot! Nice shot, bro! This is Fuyuki High School. This school has an average academic standing, and the sports clubs have been... run of the mill. Until now. The basketball team has recently been gaining ground. Yeah! <laughs> oh my god, this is so cool! I love this! Go for it, guys! We're rooting for you! The team has made it to number one, and the dreams of entering the national championship is no longer out of their reach. There's now even a fan club of mostly girls. Hey girls! Sorry to keep you in suspense! You long-waited guys, so the basketball team are here! Like this, they often had these events highlighting the players. They're pop idols! But even these guys have their downside. What is it, you ask? Well, it's their appalling attitude. Make way for the guys on the basketball team! The boys are here! This kind of grandstanding goes on a daily basis. I was really affected by their daily antics, because our drama club is right next door to theirs! For me, Kego Soma, it was a source of considerable irritation. What a wonderful cactus! Boy, I'm tired as hell! All that practice has totally worn me out! Uh, hey guys, this is the drama club. I think you have the wrong room. Huh? This is the right room! What are you talking about? It's been decided that we'll be using this room from today. But, the basketball team, you got your own room! Use that for Christ's sake! You nobodies get to use this big room! This room is way nicer than the basketball team's! We're taking over! <laughs> That's not right! Yeah, this is our room! What are we supposed to do? From then on, the guys in the basketball team started to do whatever they liked. Hey, mind if I leave my gym stuff here? Oh, hey, your drama club, right? Write a nice romantic reply back to this fan, would ya? Huh? Wait, are you kidding me? We were practically pestered like this every day. But then one day... <laughs> Man, this is heavy as... Ooh, guess that's all, huh? Man, we accumulated way too much trash, bro! <laughs> hey, come on, guys! Do you have to bring all that junk in here? Would you please take all that trash to the garbage bin out back? Yeah, well, no time, buddy. We have a group date with some of our fangirls. Tell you what, you clean this stuff up and we'll invite you guys too! We'll get some more girls to come along. No shortage of that. <laughs> huh? A group date? You would invite us? Can we really come along? <laughs> Look at these guys, would ya? They're like a pack of hungry dogs. <laughs> Are these dudes serious? They actually believed us. <laughs> But no way they're coming! They'll chicken out! Okay, after you clean up, come to this place. Here's the address! With that, they left. Uh, to be honest, I've never been on a date with a girl. Ah, <laughs> uh, I sure would like to have a girlfriend. See what it's like. I never really had much time for that. Yeah, wouldn't mind experience real romance, not just this drama stuff. I don't know about you guys, but it seems like a great opportunity for us! Phew, man! Finally landed a part-time job! My name is Ken Oyama. I'm the eldest in the family. I've got four younger siblings, so all I do is work part-time and study. That's all I have time for. My folks left us with a $250,000 debt. I'm having a hard time paying it back. Hey, waiter! Where's the food we ordered? How long is this gonna take? Sorry, I'll check with the kitchen. Just a little longer, sir. This restaurant I work in gets some irritable customers, but on occasion... Thanks so much! The food and the drink were so delicious! I loved it! Thank you so much! We get wonderful customers sometimes, so working here is not all that bad. Better do a good job or I'll get fired again! 
We got rid of all the trash and cleaned the room up. After that, we rushed over to the party where the basketball guys were with the girls. Okay, now comes the fun part. Let's do this Pocky game. <laughs> nah, -uh. I'm way too embarrassed to play games like that. Hey guys, sorry to keep you waiting. Holy crap! Did you guys actually show up? Super bad timing. Have a little discretion, guys. This ain't gonna work. Four girls and four guys. You're not welcome. Take a hike, dudes. They promised they would include us if we cleaned up after them. Nevertheless, they prevented us from joining the party. But... Hey, do these guys go to the same high school as you? It would be way more fun to have more people, so let them join! Uh, wait, what? Yeah, that sounds good to me. Hey, this seat is open. Come on, have a seat. With the girls' insistence, we were able to join the party. Thanks, girls. Appreciate it. Darn it! Eight guys and four girls? This is pathetic! But on the other hand, these guys are in the drama class, for God's sake. The girls won't even give these dorks a second look. Well, looks like this party suddenly got bigger. Hey, let's do another self-introduction, shall we? Okay, us first. We're the elite members of the Elite Fuyuki High basketball team. Yay, that's <laughs> us. We also attend the same high school. We're in the school's drama class. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Man, that's some dreary intro, guys. Have you guys gotten any drama awards lately? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now it's our turn, so I'll start. I'm Mickey, and I attend Esmani High School. Wow! You girls go to Esmani High School, huh? You girls must be super smart. Nah, not really. Just your average high school girls, but thank you. Yeah, it's good and all to be smart, but being physically active is way better. Don't you agree, you girls? You girls probably know that we're, like, super popular with the girls at school. Irresistible Fisher! <laughs> oh, yeah? <laughs> the basketball guys were a little tactless, in my opinion. The atmosphere in the room was so awkward. That's when the waiter came to our table. Sorry to keep you waiting. Uh, let's see. Who's having the orange juice? Just put it all on the table and we'll do it ourselves. Thanks. Oh, alright. Thanks. That would be helpful, sir. The orange juice is for Miki, right? And the apple juice is for... Oh, that's weird. Keiko kind of looks familiar behind those glasses. And the other guys in the drama class, too. I wonder if these guys... No way. Uh, is there something on my face? You keep staring at me. Hey, Keiko, would you mind taking your glasses off for just a second? Uh, well, you know... Oh crap! Did my ruse not work? Right when I was in this awkward situation... Looks like they saw right through us! May as well take these things off, huh? Yeah, these fake glasses are getting way uncomfortable. Let's get rid of them. What do you say? Yeah, okay, if you guys insist. So with all in agreement, we all took off our glasses. Huh? Wait, what? Whoa! Oh my god, all you drama club guys are pretty good looking! I have to say, you can say that again! <laughs> hey, hold on a second! I think maybe I've seen them before somewhere. So Makego recently got a part in the new TV drama. That's Ryo, who was selected as the best new CM idol last year. Shinsei just got the role of supporting actor in that new romantic film. And finally, Yuzuru has a prominent role in the new movie, Money Money People! Wow, I'm surprised, Miki. You sure know your stuff. Yeah, well, everyone at school knows I'm a super pop entertainment expert. Don't tell me you guys are already, like, pop stars, seriously? <laughs> no wonder all you guys are so darn good looking. Oh my god, can you believe we're actually having a party with the most exciting guys around? I'm in heaven. <laughs> You're not serious? All these guys are popular actors? At school, nobody ever gives these guys a second look, for Christ's sake! That's right, all four of us were child actors. We've been in the business for years. When we were working as kids, we didn't actually know each other, but... Huh? 
Wait, you're... Huh? No way! We were all totally blown away when we all realized we were going to the same high school! We decided to keep a low profile, so we all acted and dressed like we were just total geeks. Well, now that we're all together, why don't we work together to polish up our acting skills? Yeah, that sounds great! And so, we all decided to put together this drama club to hone our skills. Well, I have to say, even your actions are so cool, and not only your looks. That's so awesome. Tell us more about what you guys are doing now. Man, this is getting real tedious. Okay, you dudes. You seem to be having fun, so take care of the bill. Thank you, guys. The bill will be $863. Yeah, the bill, those guys over there. They'll be paying for this whole shebang. Talk to them. Yeah, we invited those guys to the first ever matchmaking party. The least they could do was cover the bill. <laughs> hey, that's not fair. You guys were here way before them and you were ordering like crazy. Yeah, and Keiko and the others are only drinking tea. Don't worry about it, Miki. We'll take care of it. Yeah, we'll pay the bill. No worries. We'll pay our portions too. Then when we collected the money and gave it to the waiter. No way I'm taking the money from you. The waiter suddenly stood up and refused to accept the money. Huh? Excuse me? I've been following your conversation and watching you guys since you arrived. The basketball guys were the ones doing most of the drinking and eating, right? So, don't you think those guys should pitch in too? Huh? What's with this waiter? This is none of his business! I'm sorry, sir. He's a new employee. The guy has no manners. Pardon his rudeness, sir. We paid the bill, and for now, the whole incident need without further issue. But later, in the back room of the restaurant... It makes no difference who pays! That's not for you to decide! We get paid! That's all that matters! But sir, this is all wrong! This is just so unfair! I couldn't just let it slide! I understand your sense of justice, Ken. But we can't just have you treating the customers like that. I'm going to have to let you go. Okay, sir. If that's what you want. The following day, a troublesome incident transpired. Well, that'll teach those guys a lesson. <laughs> yeah, with that, they're really up the creek. <laughs> Hold on a sec. What the hell is this? Now everyone knows who we really are! As a result... Hey Kago! Look over here! Hi! Can you believe these popular idols are going to our school? This is super wild! Everything we do, everywhere we go, even the girls come to our school and won't let us be! Man, what do we do? This is not good. How are we supposed to live normal lives like this? Right away, the fan club was established which became the talk of the entire school and other surrounding schools. I mean, everyone was talking about us! Hey, Kago, can I get a photo with you, please? Uh, I guess. Normal school life went out the window, but... It's actually kinda nice to be surrounded by all these girls! Yeah, it's sorta cool, isn't it? Although it was a bit aggravating at times, but all in all... It was sort of nice being so sought after. On the other hand... Huh? No fans? What the hell is going on here? All the girls are now all goo-goo over the guys at the drama club. Those geeks at the drama club! It seems the basketball club passed into oblivion. Several days later... We got together with Miki and her friends and went to the sports amusement center downtown. Yeah, let's give it a go! And the winner gets to make any request! How about that? Us guys never really had the opportunity to enjoy stuff like this with girls. We were all kind of nervous, but obviously enjoying it! Then those guys showed up. Oh, what do we have here? The popular idol's out for a good time. <laughs> oh my god! Did we just witness a scandal of sorts? The media hounds would love this!
Yeah, by those guys? I mean the guys from the basketball team. Nah, nothing suspicious going on here. We're just here to enjoy ourselves. That's all. Yeah, that's right. We girls invited them out, so don't go and spread all kinds of nonsense about them. I recommend you girls be careful. It's not easy going out with these well-known guys. They come with a lot of baggage. Better that you socialize with us! The basketball guys were spewing a bunch of nonsense when Miki spoke up. Okay, so if you guys are so adamant about us not going out with them, why don't you guys have a little match too? You win, and we'll go out with you guys too. Huh? Miki, what are you saying? That sounds pretty enticing! You got a deal! What's more, the match that Miki suggested was... And by match, I mean this! The UFO Catcher! Yes! This is way up my alley! You guys and the basketball team are super well balanced. This will be easy as pie. Yeah, I think we already won. But one thing they didn't realize was that all four of us were proficient at this game, having practiced it in some of the drama shows and movies we've been involved in. Huh, let's see. Take it to about this angle and drop it right there. Yes! Nice, Kigo! Right on the dot! We were able to get one item after the next. Why the hell are those guys so good at that game? Better use our little trick to win this thing. Those guys started shaking the machine and tried to get one of the items! Which of course is against the rules. What the hell? You guys again? Huh? You? That guy from the restaurant the other day. What the hell do you want? He said he was here for the part-time job interview, and figured he would know a thing or two about these games, so he'd be the perfect referee, right? So I asked him to help out. That's right! So if you move the machine one bit and get an item, sorry, but that won't count, guys. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no problem doing it by the book. And as a result... Well, it looks like the drama club won 6-2. We were able to beat those guys with little difficulty. I can't believe this. We just lost against those jerks. <sighs> Good thing that I remember that all four of them were in that TV drama playing with the UFO catcher game. So, I guess I knew that they were probably going to be good at this game. <laughs> and I was right. <laughs> Ever since that incident, the basketball guys had it out for us, and would criticize us or badmouth us at any chance they got. They were always challenging us to all kinds of petty games. We were getting a bit weary of it all. That's when they happened to say something that caught my attention. You guys are always challenging us to these silly games. Should you guys be practicing basketball? Huh? That's none of your business. Besides, we have our ways. Yeah, we're already the best. No need for talented guys like us to practice. It all comes naturally. <laughs> oh yeah? Okay, if that's what you want to say. Then, on the day of their big game. No problem. This opponent is some unknown school. We'll smash them! Yeah, we'll pulverize them. We're number one! But because they had not practiced for so long, they were physically unfit to take on the opposing team. The score end with a 22-2 victor for the guest teams from Maruyama High School. Congratulations! My god! We're supposed to be number one! And we only scored two points?! You have to be kidding me! They were completely pulverized. As a result... Man! Those guys all bulk no bite, huh? I thought they were like, number one, pretty pathetic! <laughs> National Championship sure ain't gonna happen, that's for sure! <laughs> and to think that the entire school had high hopes for them. As for us... Hey Kago, let's go to the center park game again! Uh, well, we need to do a bit of homework. Hey, why are you butting in? It's our turn this time! You had them all for yourself last time, Mickey! To be honest, it's great and all, but 
This constant attention by all the girls is getting tiring. I sort of want a girlfriend, though. Yeah, but I'm not sure I can handle it. <laughs> Thanks for staying until the end. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Looking for more interesting stories and videos? Then come check out other videos from Mani Mani people here. We'd love to hear your thoughts, too. Drop a line in the comments below. See you soon!